Hello, my name is Tyler. If you're new here, I invite you to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with the latest Clippers news. As the NBA trade deadline approaches, the Los Angeles Clippers are a buying team of particular interest, with D'Angelo Russell and Christian Wood the latest reliably reported targets per Mark Stein. After dodging a bullet with an unsuccessful, and frankly deeply concerning, offer to acquire Kyrie Irving, the franchise is still looking for a backcourt upgrade, while the frontcourt situation has needed attention since the summer. Russell would solve the former issue. The Minnesota Timberwolves are reportedly struggling to reach an agreement on an extension with their point guard, who is an unrestricted free agent this offseason, and could be looking to cash in while his trade value is high. The problem for the Clippers is how high that price will be with the 26-year-old having the most efficient season of his career, as well as the amount of other suitors that have more attractive assets to a team that committed wholeheartedly to buying when trading for Rudy Gobert. Before continuing, give this video a like, so you can find out about the latest Clippers news. Wood, on the other hand, could well be a more realistic option and his salary is over half what Russell is earning in his contract year. The Mavs forward is also an unrestricted free agent in the summer, though he's reported to have been offered an extension already, but this is a possible rental that would be much less costly in the long term for the Clippers. For a start, his salary is an exact match with both Marcus Morris Sr. and Robert Covington, who you feel aren't safe from being thrown into a trade. I mean, who is besides the stars? One of the many trades have already tried to pour water on this season was Mike Conley, but if the franchise is committed to making a move before the deadline, I'd like to see them pry him and Olenek from the Utah Jazz. Both have manageable salaries and controllable contracts, which alongside the likely price to capture both, gives them an edge over Russell and Wood for me. The possibility of a more sensible trade seems to be dwindling and, I have to say, I can't wait for the deadline to pass. I want to know your opinion on this matter. Write in the comments of the video, because your opinion is very important for Clippers. Soon I bring more news. Thanks.